Hi there, Alec from Vacuum Spot here. Going to do a quick video on a Vax PowerReach V043. Um, this particular machine has come in because the customer has said it just doesn't pick up. I had literally had a 20 second look and I agree with her, it really wouldn't. Um, there are two things that are going to be critical to performance on this machine. One is your filter and the other one is the roller actually spinning and in this case neither are going to work properly. Let's have a look at the filter first. Basically, we just take the front pin off, just like you would if you were going to empty it. And what we've got, so here you'll notice you open this and then lift it off. And our filter is absolutely chock-a-block full. Crud. Um, so, we get a new filter, which is part number 84640. and figure out how this goes on oh, yeah, easily um, just pushes on with a clip and then I bet yep this little guy just goes on like so so that's easy um, that will improve performance no end and we basically just line somewhere there should be a little arrow. Sooner or later I'll learn to... Um... <laughs> I won't actually do this stuff before. Oh, for the love of Pete. Look at that. It's so simple. You just put it on, twist, just like a light bulb. Um, so that's going to have the suction improved and then secondly we need to look at underneath the machine and you'll notice how this just spins freely it shouldn't um, there should be tension on the belt and that'll let us know that uh, it's going to turn when the motor turns on uh, in this particular case it just won't so there's only a few screws here Here. One closest to this wheel. One over this side. That didn't feel like it come out. This side. Okay. Now this, you've actually got to remove this um, height adjuster. And then this lid will come off. Okay, and there's our problem. The belt is actually broken. Now the new belt is part number 84260. Basically you put it on the shaft first, then you lift up your roller, position it correctly, and then see how it's quite short? You've got to stretch that into position. Okay, so it is going to need to be tight. But now, you can see the amount of resistance that it should have. We simply reverse that process. So I would normally put the middle one in first to try and get your best grab. Now 
than the front so that it clips in and locks nice and smooth. Okay, and the rear two are in as well. Okay, now this also needs to fit in. Okay, that's it. The machine will work so many times better now with a clean filter and new belt. Another easy tip from Alec at Vacuum Spot. If this was useful, please hit subscribe or like the video.